This is 419 Morris coming right back at you with an update on us. So what we got going on right now is I see those 18 subscribers right now. Awesome. Keep it up. Keep liking. Subscribe into this content. We get to 100 subscribers. We'll be giving out a free t-shirt to a random subscriber. So be on the lookout for that in the near future. We're going to be having those made up. We'll, we'll be getting those around. In the meantime, we're going to give you a quick update on us. So right now we have invested in a Mojave female adult that will be ready to go sometime in the fall. Um, I'm not going to disclose whatever else that's in this, you know, snake. We will do that when we unbox her. So we're not going to hold that one back because this is going to give us our first clutch sometime, you know, locking sometime at the end of the year, egg sometime early next year. Hopefully we'll see how that goes and we will document that and. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. That's 419 Morphs. Uh, we'll be posting what we have for sale when that time comes around. Right now, it's just kind of up and running. Um, I don't mess around with it too much yet, but it is there, so you can check that out. Um, in the meantime, we're going to show you what we're going to pair to her. I don't know what this is exactly, but he's a banana, Mojave. He might have something else in him. He might not. I don't know. He's been off feed for maybe about two months or so so we're going to show you this guy real quick so this is him and then he's ready to go and he's a big old nice you just see those colors in them really Beautiful snake. Actually, the first ball python I got was him. So he definitely has Mojave in him by the orange, brownish coming up on him. Definitely a, probably a banana. Doesn't have that many freckles on him. So he could be something else uh, mixed in. We'll discuss maybe what I think that is when we get this female. Because that may have the hidden gene that I think it may have in that banana. So be on the lookout for that. Um, in the meantime, King Austin posted a video on tips and tricks on feeding. If you take a little bit of vanilla extract and put it on the back of the mouse, um, just like a little drop or whatever and give it to the snake or whatever. It has to be all natural, the all natural stuff, obviously. Uh, the snake will have a better time of eating it right away. And because of the smell of the vanilla, and it might help them, um, you know, switching out with them between a mouse and a rat. So you guys can give that a try. Um, I saw that really helpful. I'm going to try that out later again with him. So it is feeding day here too. And we are going to try the vanilla trick with a couple of them. Um, you know, preferably the banana because he hasn't ate in about two months or so. Not a big deal. He can go about six months. He hasn't been losing weight or anything like that. So I'm not too concerned with it. Put them in that rack system. I'm just going to leave the mouse in there for a little bit. Monitor it. See what happens. See if he takes it or not. I uh, thought that was a really good tip for King Austin to disclose the vanilla thing. Awesome, dude. Appreciate it. Um, until then, just like I said, look out for the more videos of the adult female that we got coming in. We will be doing an unboxing of that so you guys can check her out. And we will disclose more of what we may think that is in that banana. Mojave. I think he has something else in him. I'm going to show you what I think he has in him. Um, maybe I'm wrong. There's only one way to find out. If not, back to the drawing board on that one. But that will be our first clutch of, the, you know, of us. So that would be really exciting. So, Like I said, give us a like, comment, um, subscribe to us. Get 100 subscribers. We'll give away a free t-shirt. Be on the lookout for that. Until then, this is 419 Morse and we're out.